Thomas Toll, welcome to Stanford University in Systems Leadership. It's nice to have you back. Thanks, Rob. Great to be here. So tell us a little bit about Tolco. You started this new company. What are you up to? Well, uh, one of the things that uh, struck me at Legendary at my last company was using technology, in that case data analytics and, and data mining, to have a pretty profound impact on, on our business. Uh, principally, what we started with was um, you know, advertising in a different way, deploying our capital in a different way, and, and using uh, data and analytics to insert ourselves in, into this decision-making process. So one of the things that uh, occurred to me is if you could use technology, whether it's data, machine learning, artificial intelligence, to go into um, businesses that are not normally known for innovation, you could have a pretty material impact. So that's, mm -hmm. that's really the thesis of Tolco, is looking for companies in traditionally large but sleepy spaces, being able to use innovation and technology to change the way they, they do businesses and hopefully, uh, do business and hopefully uh, get, a, get a material impact. So how do you find these companies and how do you know that they're ripe for digital transformation? Well, I mean, it, you, you, there's no garden variety way that we're finding these companies. We're, we're getting inbound phone calls. You know, we're looking also um, at different sectors that we think are interesting. Mm -hmm. But as important as anything is finding uh, managers, finding management teams with very deep domain expertise within these industries that then you can back with capital, wherewithal, and, and technology. So how do you find these companies adapt to and bring in new technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning to improve their businesses? What's that process like? Well, as part of that checklist, you have to make sure that the, the management team embraces using technology. And in, in cases where we feel really good uh, about uh, the match, it's somebody that says, look, we're really good at our business. We know, we know our, our, uh, our market inside mm -hmm. and out. But if we just had not only the right capital, but we know there's probably a smarter way to do things, but we just don't have that expertise. So when, when you can then empower those management teams uh, and, and work with them, because we don't run the companies, they do, that, that's where we're seeing pretty great results. Well, you have a team behind you that's got a strong technical background and technical expertise. How do you get comfortable knowing uh, about the company, whether it's a good acquisition target, when you're not from that sector? Well, I, I think it's a number of things. We, we've developed sort of a, a checklist to at least be a little bit of a candle in the wilderness for us. Uh, now, none of these things are ever going to be perfect, right? But, but for us, uh, there's a number of different attributes that make sense. And as you can imagine, in most cases, we're, we're not moving ahead, right? It's, it's, uh, it's not a, a venture fund where we're just laying bets down. We typically buy entire companies or, or big stakes in companies. Uh, so we, we don't want to do so many that we can't be effective. Um, but it's, it's hard to come up with sort of a one-size-fits-all. You sort of know when you see it. Uh, you want to make sure that it's checking all the boxes that are important, that you, you, know, you love the management team, you have a shared philosophy on how you're going to go forward. And, and then at the end of the day, our big thing is can we cause outcome, mm -hmm. right? Not be good pickers but cause outcome. So you're moving your family from Southern California back to Pittsburgh where you're from originally. Why did you choose Pittsburgh as opposed to the Bay Area or Boston or some other part of the world? Well, look, I'm, a, I'm an East Coast guy. I bleed black and gold, obviously, uh, with the Steelers. But one of the things that has been unbelievable is to watch the transformation that the city of Pittsburgh mm -hmm. uh, has undergone, uh, really pivoting from industry into uh, biomed, uh, incredible technology hub and Carnegie Mellon University is is really right in the center of that and, and is doing some incredible work around machine learning and AI. So you went from laundromats to the movie industry and now to factories and automation and industries and some of them you are know, as you said non-sexy. Uh, how did you come up with this idea to go from what you were doing before with Legendary to this particular opportunity? Well I, I think in my mind, almost every sector of our economy is going to be touched in some way by AI, robotics, technical innovation. And, you know, the, and, and watching it both in terms of what we did at Legendary and then in some of the personal investments I had made, 
if you can really force multiply, um, you know, it, it got me really excited about it. It's, it's uh, challenging, different problems every day. Uh, I get bored easily. So, you know, being able to have different problem sets to, to try to tackle all the time was, was exciting to me as well. So, Thomas Tull, you're on the tip of the arrow looking the, from the financial and investment side of the digital industrial and transformation. We really appreciate your coming to Stanford and telling us a little bit about what you're up to. Thanks, Rob. Thanks so much. Thank you.